Hi everybody, this is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an inside out cake from the Disney movie. Now each section of the cake has a color coordinated memory orb to go with the character's color. Now the big giant ones, those are gelatin bubbles that I'm going to show you how to make in the tutorial. But before we get started on that, I want to invite you to come over to the app Periscope where I've been having lots of fun doing live broadcasts and getting to interact with with you guys over there. So the information for where to find me at Periscope will be in the description box below. So now let's get started on this inside out tutorial. To make the cake, we're going to be using large gumballs. We're going to be using some smaller ones. And for buttercream, we have purple, yellow, red, blue, and green. And our cake is going to be a pre-made eight inch round cake. And I've got it just covered in a really thin coat of buttercream. And what I'm going to show you how to make next are these gelatin bubbles. To make the gelatin bubbles, we're going to need four packs of gelatin. Now each of these packs is seven grams, so you're going to need 21 grams in total. We're going to be using half a cup of water. Now we're going to need each color from the emotions, and I'm going to be showing you the green one and I'm going to be using some luster dust as well. You're going to need cake pop sticks and you're going to need little small balloons and these ones happen to be water balloons and I find them the, to be the perfect size. So the first thing we need to do is blow up our balloons quite small, which is why the water balloon size comes in handy, but you can use the bigger ones, just don't blow them up very much. I'm taking the end of the cake pop stick and I'm just sticking it there by the um, little neck there and I'm just going to take a piece of really strong tape wrap it around here so it's attached to the cake pop and there's cake pop stick and then just put it into a styrofoam holder there and they'll be able to stand upright. Once you've got your balloons made, now this recipe is going to make about eight gelatin um, balloons, so you, or the gelatin bubbles, sorry. So you're going to need to double what you see here, just so you know. And I'm gonna take some non-stick spray and I'm just going to spray a piece of paper towel. And then I'm going to just kind of gently dab the non-stick spray onto the balloons. And that's going to help the removal process be a little bit easier. With your balloons prepared, we can finally get to the gelatin part. So in my bowl here, I have my 28 grams of the unflavored gelatin. I'm going to sprinkle in some luster dust. Now you can be as generous as you want. It's just gonna give it a little bit of a sheen to the bubbles. And I'm going to put in a squirt of my color. Now remember, you have to do that for all of the different colors for all of the emotions. And then my water. So I've got everything mixed up here. It's gonna thicken up right away as I start to stir. And once I've got it all mixed together, I'm going to put it into the microwave for about 15 to 25 seconds until it is liquid. So you can see how it's thickening up now. And when you put it into the microwave, it's going to go back to a liquid and that's what we want. Once our gelatin mixture is back to being a liquid, if at any time it solidifies again, just pop it back in the microwave to keep it a liquid. So I'm just going to take out a balloon and I'm going to dip it into the gelatin here. So I wanna come up pretty close to the tip or to here where the cake pop stick is. And I'm just rolling it around in there. And then I'm gonna pull it out, let it drip a little bit, drip off and then put it back into the cake pop stand here, this chunk of styrofoam. And I'm gonna repeat with all of my other balloons. So you're going to need to let your gelatin bubbles solidify in the stand for about 24 hours, and then they'll be completely hardened. And I got really lucky with this one, and the balloon pulled away from the outer edge, and I can just pop it off here, just like that, with the balloon kind of still intact, which made for a really easy removal. That's a lucky case. Most of the time, though, I haven't been that lucky. So what you have to do in that case is you kind of want to move your cake pop stick around here and you can hear it kind of breaking and popping here and then I'm going to just snip into there and then snip around here and then you just need to like use kind of like a scraper or the back of here to pull the balloon away from the rest of it so I'm going to do that to all my colors and we'll finally be able to get onto the cake decorating 
So I've got our cake here and I'm going to mark every five inches around the outside here because what that's going to do is give us five different sections for our five different colors. So I'm just going around and I'm going to mark it every five inches. Now using a ruler or a straight edge, I'm going to find my marks that I just made and I'm going to press into them so they go all the way up the side of the cake like that. So I'm just going to find each of them and do that. The last thing that I need to do in order to segment the cake here is to take my ruler again and right where I marked all of my parts, I'm just going to kind of mark them going towards the center just like this until I've got my cake divided. So I have my sections divided and my buttercreams are down here ready to go and I'm going to take my blue frosting first and I'm going to just go outlining kind of right on the line here and I'm just going to fill in this entire section with blue and I'm going to go all the way down the side as well and then smooth it with a um, offset spatula. So with the blue done, I'm moving on to the green and I won't bore you by showing you all of the different quadra or the little sections here, but what I'm going to do next is I will do the yellow and the red and the purple. So I'll be back when I've got the cake covered in all of the colors. So we're going to put on the gelatin bubbles next and the buttercream may have crusted and if that's happened to you, all you have to do is put a little like blob of buttercream on the bubble there and then it will help to stick it right to the side of the cake where you want it in place. So I'm going to fit four up here and I've got my buttercream on them already and I'm just going to stick them into place and then repeat for all of the other colors. So now we're going to make some curls with some stainless steel wire and this is going to give our gumballs different heights on the cake. So I'm just taking a couple inches of wire and I'm just wrapping it around the cake pop stick here like this. And what that's going to do is just give a little bit of more kind of a fancy look to the cake. So once you've got your wire wrapped like that, you can take your gumball and with the end of a pair of scissors, I'm just going to kind of like poke a little tiny hole in there like that and all you need is just for it to break through that outer hard shell and then you can take the wire and just poke it into there like that and the gumball will stand up like that. So the final step to decorating our inside out cake is to add our bubble gums and I'm going to put this one in here with the wire. just want to shove it down far enough so it stays standing up like that and then using some additional buttercream, I'm just gonna put a little dab there and then put maybe a big one on there like that. And then also onto the green and then all around the cake, I'm going to cover it with a bunch of different little gumballs. And I'm also gonna leave this section of the cake for a special part of the cake design. So there you go everybody, how to make an inside out cake. As you can see, I have put the little characters all along the spots that are perfect for them. And they are the absolute right size for a cake like this. And I'm gonna put a link in the description box for where I found them so you can get them yourself. The other thing I'm putting in the description box is a really fun little quiz. And it's just a little quiz from Disney asking about how, which character in Inside Out are you? And I got sadness and I even tested Paul and he got sadness as well. So let us know in the description box or sorry, in the comments, which character you get if you take the test. It's just a little fun thing. So thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys all again in the next video.